Johanna Kell. Johanna Kell is an artist born in Bogota, Colombia in 1965. She is based in Bogota. Kell's art involves the following themes, Latin American art, Andes region, Bolivia, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Venezuela, urbanization, political minimalism, the city, language, women artists, gender, work on paper, repetition, patterns, globalization, life and education. Johanna Kell was born in 1965 in Bogota. It's just art. I only aspire to be an artist with no labels and classifications either. I just create art and that's all. The others are people who try to put you or your work in a classification. I define myself as a female artist and from that point I start my definition. Johanna Kell, she studied visual arts in the Tallers Artisticos program at the University of the Andes in Bogota from 1984 to 1989 where she earned her B.A. in Art. In 1993, she earned her Masters of the Arts from Chelsea College of Art and Design in London. She currently lives in Bogota today and is married to antiquarian Julio Cesar Perez Navarrete, who also is a buyer of photographic archives and documentaries. He helps her research and collaborates on several of her projects. Career and Work Cal originally started working with traditional oil painting but decided to dedicate her work to drawing in 1994. She now works mostly with drawing and explores the use of line and its possibilities within her art. Cal uses a reduced black and white palette. She uses drawing to experiment with many other materials such as printed text, lettrezette, aluminum wire, copper, iron and cloth. She also experiments with different techniques like sewing or knitting on canvas, pyrography, dactylography, collage, and typewriting. There is a recurring motif that occurs in her work of the collapse of order and subversion of the grid. She plays with juxtapositions in her work, like the abstract and the figurative, legible and illegible, and the signifier and the signified. Cal's concepts usually focus on concrete issues of everyday Colombian life, but often have a universal message. Some of the topics she covers are gender roles, violence, abuse, malnutrition, poverty, environmental topics, urbanization, and communication. Cal's work is delicate and touching when dealing with especially heavy topics. Even though her ideas stem from issues observed within Colombia, they often have a greater global context and relate to many countries on different levels. Some of projects involve research for statistics, specific files, police data, or even certain types of materials. For example, her project Version Official 2008 involved searching official accounts issued by the Colombian government about the deaths of people in which she then made them legible. For Plea de Photos 2012 she used photos and text from police criminal archives about assassinations and made the photo prints on 1960 Czechoslovakian photo paper. For her series number Propio 1997 minus 1999 Cal did a significant amount of research into the cases of abandonment from the Institute for Family and Child Well-Being. She then knit the faces of the children into a kind of family tree. She did this in hopes of locating their parents and uniting them with their families. Her use of embroidery is crucial because it is a slow and time-consuming process. That passing of time is related to the passing of time these children go through to get adopted or forever wait for their parents. Wire is an integral material for many of her projects and Johanna often uses it alongside drawing. It is a more dimensional form of line and can communicate certain things that simply drawing cannot. Her project Letarja 2001 is a series of portraits that are created by bending wire, attaching it to a board and then encasing it within casein. The casein is then sanded down to reveal the soft, dreamy portraits within. The faces within look detached and dreamy, representing a state of being in between life and death. These ideas relate to a dark history Colombia has of disposing bodies in rivers, their faces floating and rolling on the surface. Abra Negra 2008 also uses wire, but to signify scarcity and poverty that the people she is referring to live with. 
Wire is actually used as a makeshift material in building the humble homes of those in poverty. The project is a series of wire drawings of the unstable homes of the poor. There are people within the houses, but they also simultaneously seem to be carrying the weight of them on their backs. There is an ambiguity between whether or not they are trapped within or willingly staying. Submergence 2010 minus 2011 is a project that uses galvanized mesh as well as letrozet and ink to create scenes of people among bent and distorted wire and random numbers. Unemployment and the decrease of economic power are affecting men and thus their families. People are forced to challenge gender roles and masculine behavior as they are altered. The broken wire represents the broken society, gender roles, and how significant the change is there. Another project about economic factors but from a different perspective is Imponderables 2009 minus 2010. She also uses fragmented, broken and distorted pieces of wire in a grid-like structure that is a reference to old-fashioned accounting books. She says, these allude to an economic order that has been altered, that will never be restored to its original form. Once the accountancy grid has been distorted, so too have the numbers that it contained. Thus, the economic order that both small and large business strive to keep. Wire is a strong, yet moldable material, which makes it interesting in the context of society, economy, and culture, because these aspects are always in flux. Plants and the environment are also central ideas to many of her projects. Her project Perspective is 2013 commented on issues of environmental habitats as well as sociological issues within Colombia and other parts of the world. Colombia is rich in biodiversity, birds and reptiles in particular. But every year, seven million animals have their habitats illegally cleared and are shipped and sold around the world for an estimated $40 million. Cal demonstrated this collapse of habitat and freedom by crushing birdcage. The project was furthered by her trip to Vietnam where she noticed similarities in the destruction of forest and habitat. Within the project, there is also a juxtaposition of the fact that millions of people are also locked out of the possibility of having a home due to overpopulation, as a result of land made uninhabitable by an unfair system of land speculation. This relates to her Parametros project where she created forms of a native tree to Mexico by typing on paper from Colombian ledger books. They are used as handwritten archives of property ownership. Domino's 2011 is similar to Parametros in that it is also created by typing text with a typewriter on paper. She uses old account log books for the paper. People were being displaced and moved by illegal armed forces, and their land conspicuously reassigned. This project is about their loss of environment and stability. There is a juxtaposition within these projects because a tree is a stable, strong object and the paper they are created out of is a fragile, flimsy version of its origin. Johanna is quoted saying to me, the medium of drawing is equal to a language, a language that is constantly adapting itself. Her interest in language and communication is obvious and prominent in her works. Chambaku Albala 2007 is a series of drawings that relate to the Arabic language and Moorish ornamentation. The strings of words and phrases in Islamic geometric shapes refer to the fact that a large number of Spanish words have an Arab origin. Within these geometric designs there are flaws and inequalities and shows that even within apparently rational and orderly ideas there are abnormalities. Things have been changed with the mixing of the cultures. Johanna also says that the use of text in her work is not purely aesthetic. She is interested in how text and words relate to things like linguistic gender discrimination, dialects, names, slang, etymology, and indigenous languages. In temporary 2012 minus 2013 is a project that involves the disjointed phonetic representation of indigenous Colombian languages. Languages that don't have a written form. The typed text that she uses explores the themes of climate change and the alteration of cycles, but overall, the project shows the importance of the word and testimony. A similar series, Luvius 2013, consists of 97 drawings that also deal with the phonetic pronunciation of indigenous languages. 
She believes our reliance on anthropological, ethnographic, and semiotic studies of the equivalence of indigenous sounds are related to the intensity, frequency, and effects on wildlife like the plants and rivers. And her recently published book, A Best 2012, also deals with language by repeating each letter of the alphabet in different ways and shapes. There is only one letter in a drawing, but she uses all 27 letters in the book. It shows that even with distorted and mutilated letters, we have an implicit understanding of what it is and what it means. Exhibitions While much of Johanna Cal's solo shows are concentrated to Colombia and South America, she has had several shows abroad in countries such as Switzerland, Vietnam, and Portugal. She has also been involved in many collaborative shows with other artists. Solo Shows 2015-2011 Silence 1985 Minus 2015 Museo de Arte del Banco de la República, Bogotá, Colombia 2015 Indicios, Casas Riedner, Bogotá, Colombia 2014 Grafos, Galleria Marilia Razuk, Sao Paulo Brazil 2014, EST Art Fair, Astoral, Portugal 2014, Freeze Art Fair, Casas Riedner, London, UK 2013, Krinzinger Residencies, Krinzinger Gallery, Vienna, Austria 2013, Perspectives Ivo Cam Gallery, Zurich, Switzerland 2013, Irregular Hexagon, Colombian Art in Residence curated by Jose Roca, San Art, HCM City, Vietnam 2012, Recent Drawings Curated by Adriano Pedrosa, Marilia Razup Gallery, Sao Paulo, Brazil 2012, Sinos, Casas Riedner, Bogota, Colombia 2011, Submergence of Drawing Approach to Masculinities Curated by Cecilia Fajardo Hill, Museum of Latin American Art Mala, Long Beach, U.S. 2011, 2010-2006, Perspectivas Muzak, Cordoba, Colombia 2010, and Tables, Zona Maco Sur, Mexico City, Mexico 2010, Variations de Bujos, Casas Riedner, Bogota, Colombia 2010, De Bujos, curated by Virginia Perez Ratten, Fundación Teoretica, San Jose, Costa Rica 2008, Contables, Feria and Fabregas Gallery, Caracas, Venezuela, 2007, Laconia, Roman IV Premio, Luis Caballero, Galleria, Santa Fe, Planetario Distrital, Bogota, Colombia, 2007, Chambaku Albala, Palacio de la Inquisition, Organis of CSEX, Cartagena de Indies, Colombia, 2007, and 7, Zona Torida, Casas Riedner, Bogota, Colombia 2006, Friterita Fundación Alzate Avendano, Bogotá, Colombia 2006, 2005-2001, Tangencias, Sala Asab Academia Superior de Arts de Bogotá, Bogotá, Colombia 2005, Insulas Casa de la Monda, Biblioca Luis Angel Arango, Bogotá, Colombia 2004, Retratos, Sala Confinalco Antioquia, Medellin, Colombia 2004. Entrelinese, Exhibition of Drawings, Sala de Art Biblioca Luis Echeverria, Efit, Medellin, Colombia 2001. Nombre Propio, Aliens a Colombo Francesa, Bogota, Colombia 2001. Distinctions and Awards, 2011-2006. Selected artist to intervene the bicentennial urn in Bogota, Bogota, Colombia 2011. Emerging Artists Grants Program, Cisneros Fontanals Art Foundation CIFO, Miami, USA 2008. Solo Projects Arco Madrid, Spain 2008. Nominated for CIFO Cisneros Fontanals Art Foundation, Miami, USA 2007. Guest Artist. Cartagena CSEX Espana 2007. Honorable Mention, Roman IV Premio Luis Caballero, Bogota, Colombia 2007. 2000-2005. Nominated for Roman 
Four Premio Luis Caballero, Ict, Bogota, Colombia, 2005. Premio Ibainal de Arts Gráficas Alternativas a Sab Academia Superior de Arts de Bogota, Bogota, Colombia, 2005. Mention Salon Regional de Artistas Ministerio de Cultura, Bogota, Colombia, 2005. Scholarship site International des Arts, a fa association franques des affaires étrangers, Paris, France, 2001. Premio Salon Regional de Artistas, Ministerio de Cultura, Bogota, Colombia, 2000. Premio Ciclo Jovines Artistas Colombianos, Aliens of Colombo Francesa y Embajada de Francia, Bogota, Colombia, 2000. 1992-1999. First Prize Union Dinos a Los Arts, Asociación de Egresados de la Universidad de Los Andes, Bogota, Colombia, 1999. Mention, VI Salon de Art Joven, Col Cultura, Bogota, Colombia, 1996. Portfolio Agpa, Smurfit Carton de Colombia, 1996. Scholarship, British Council. London, England, 1992. Equals equals references equals equals equals.